Hey, I'm Prashant, founder and CEO of Twitter.io. And today we are going to talk about product discovery. So before going to product discovery, would love to talk why it matters. So, you know, there's a, uh, I have talked to almost thousand plus product leaders in the last two years. And one of the study I found actually, it was I think by Pendu, that around 60% of all the product which we are building is never used. Imagine 60% of all the effort you, me, or any product person is making is wasted. And it's billions of dollars wasted because people are building products and they're not getting used. Why is that happening? Why are we wasting the smartest minds on earth about building something no one cares about? And trust me, in the rest 40%, most of them don't miss uh, achieve the target they set out for. They don't create a business impact. So before we go into product discovery, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Prashant, founder and CEO of Veda.io. I have been a product manager all my career, like one of those rare breeds where I started my career back in 2014, 15 years, and directly out of college became a product manager and have been building products since then. I have worked in four unicorn, uh, four billion dollar plus companies. Two of them have done IPOs. I have three case studies uh, done on my work, one by Harvard, Google, and one another company. I have been featured in Forbes, Mind the Product, Product Account, Product Collective, the product folks, and a couple of other communities. I have been speaker in Vietnam, Dubai, Singapore, USA, India, a couple of other places, and have around 30 plus webinars and podcasts on internet. I have mentored a lot of PMs via PM School, Product School, uh, Plateau, ADP List, and LinkedIn. So, yeah, I hope what I'm saying makes sense uh, with almost around a decade years, a uh, decade of experience. So, let's get deeper into it. So, what is the problem? Like, why are we even talking about product discovery? The first thing is, product teams are building products that don't solve the real problem. Like, we get a sales call, we get a customer support ticket, we have a backlog, and we pick out of that and start building. These things don't move the needle. Another thing is, a lot of things are shipped based on biases. You might have heard about the term hippo. Hippo is the highest paid person in the organization. Or it could be the loudest voice from your team, engineering team, sales, support, marketing team, that, oh, if you ship this, we'll close this. Another thing is, most of the people don't talk to their customer. Like, it's very tough in multiple organizations to even have a direct connection with your customers. And I believe as a product manager, I ha I'll be honest, I'm not a very data oriented person but i do believe the biggest source of data is customers by the way sam walton uh, the uh, founder of walmart uh, he said one thing that the most important person in an organization is customer they can make a ceo fall just by start paying somewhere else so I think it's a very powerful message that we all know that we need to talk to customers, but how many of us actually do talk? So that's why product discovery became one of the biggest challenges that what should you be building? And then why should you build that? What and why? These are very important questions. They'd like we all have a backlog, we all have a roadmap, but what is in the roadmap? That is the question, that is the problem, that why are we building A 
versus free that important so that when you go to your leader when you are in a meeting you can ask that question and also you can justify your reasoning that's why you are putting it and imagine this problem on a 10x level where you are a publicly listed company like i don't know if i can take name but there are certain product leaders from publicly listed company which i talk to and for them their share price moves with the product they launch imagine if it's a billion dollar company and what you ship impacts the share price it just goes way beyond your control like way beyond how it impacts your outcome but economy depends on it and coming to economy economy is tough that's the other problem that we are building things which are not moving the needle like if we skip the product discovery part and we start building something because we got a requirement we'll write the user story we'll write the pids and then put it on jira then we track it then we tell oh it went like so that is not what we are working every day we are not working on shipping jira tickets but what is the impact of that jira ticket that's what we are i think every good product manager should think from that i don't care how many jira tickets i shipped but even if i ship one jira ticket what is the impact it creates that's the bigger thing and another point to add here is that in this economy if we are putting effort and that that is not correlated to the business outcome we are just moving a wall why i say moving a wall is like i am i have been laid off uh, i know a lot of friends who got laid off now i was laid off back when in pandemic per save happened companies need people who move things not put their energy on moving a wall like you can spend all day and say that hey prashant i have spent 8 hours with all my energy pushing a wall but it won't move so that makes you your effort wasted and in retrospect for company it's easier to replace people who are not making impact so i'm talking now from a company perspective because i'm a founder and ceo of a company that i would want my resources to be optimized for outcome like we should one thing that make the business impact if we have people who are working on something but that does not have impact we are wasting resources there and then the layoff happen now that is where i have been laid off i have been told it and i would say that no one wants to do that so if we spent good time in discovery like asking the question what we are building and justifying the why what happens is number one you are shipping things which move the needle now that needle could be depending upon the company it could help you close more deals it could help you grow revenue it could help you increase the user adoption re- reduce churn in- increase engagement or just number of users but you are moving some needle that is the top line the other thing is if you are building something after putting thought behind it like after putting doing the discovery exercise then you are reducing your cost like you are you might just be focusing on things which are valid which are going to make move the needle and not on things which are not valid so how do you optimize in this economy either by increasing the top line or reducing the cost how do you do that by concentrating all your efforts to shipping out things which make business impact i hope that makes sense so why are we like what is the benefit like we talked about the problem why and that if you ship out things 
which don't make impact that impact the company cost that can waste your effort all those things but i don't know if you remember there there used to be uh, i don't know if albert einstein actually said or not but uh, i read it somewhere that's why i'm saying that that if i have 100 hours to cut a tree i'll spend 99 in sharpening the x because i'll change that a bit to say that if you have 100 hours sharpen your x and then figure out which tree to cut because if you are like what is the goal of the tree do you need the biggest tree to create furniture or you just need wood to light a fire if your goal is to light a fire you, you don't need to cut a very big thick tree you just need to cut two three small trees which are very like you can burn fire from them so the idea i'm trying to explain is what tree to cut and why are you cutting these are two very important and then did you succeed with it let's get to the benefits of this watch number one it can save time and money obviously if you are concentrating all your efforts at shipping the right product then you are not wasting time in building something which no one cares about that save time money energy and your time wasted in meetings number 2 you gather information like why i we building it what are the number of deals we are going to close what metric it's going to move uh what is the goal it will achieve what is the will it help me achieve my okr or not how much it going to cost to build can i do something else instead of this because in the end as i said your input doesn't matter the outcome matters so if you can get similar outcome with less input do that and lastly understanding the customer needs that i cannot stress more about it customers i the users are the king like you spend time talking to them and you will be a better product manager that's the difference between like if you have to do one thing which can make you a better product manager now if reach out to 10 you first tomorrow ask them what are their challenges don't talk about your solution forget it like what are their problems what are they need what are they trying to achieve and how are they feeling it like what was the experience like using your product those are the questions like if you understand customer needs everything becomes better so and then by the way i just want to clarify this uh, you can't ship what customers need that customers need might be something which might which are totally not related to your business so there are two factors to it number one customer needs customer pain points customer experience and the other one is business goal you have to be in between you have to be the product manager's job is that only like be the balance between the business which is company and the user their need and you need to understand how and this that's the role of discovery how can you merge the user user need user expectation the solution to company goal com- business okrs tech capabilities does your company even have a mobile app the user might say no like is that in the roadmap is that possible do we have the talent all those questions so understand this the balance between users and the business the other thing is if you do the right discovery how that impacts the business number one you can this is about how do you do discovery number one is segment your customer like what customer do you want to optimize for some companies are plg they target for smb and mid market other companies are enterprise they target bigger companies their sales cycle is bigger now if you are a plg motion and you ignore the smb and you start listening to an enterprise request 
you are gonna miss your okr which is maybe number of new signups adoption so what is the when you are doing discovery number one what is the icp what are the different segments of customer they could be your enterprise mid market smb highly active customer uh, not so active customer if your uh, goal company goal to reduce churn or close more deals if it is to close more deals you will be looking at gong or core or crm data that prospective deals if it is to reduce the churn you might be looking at amplitude and customer support tickets so again segmenting the cohort and customers is very important and aligning it to the business goal second new opportunities when you talk to users when you talk to customer all sales people or market trends like ai you uncover opportunities maybe something you might not have thought about something you might uncover a new insight that is the importance of discovery so figure out what is new versus what is existing and the other part is obviously if you do the discovery right and try to take the right thing you will accelerate the sales process so that is there and remember i to- talked about two problems one was increasing the revenue the previous slide took care of that the second is which i said reduce your cost now how can you reduce the cost by the right discovery number one is obviously very simple that you are going to align the resources to the thing which are going to move the needle that is going to reduce the cost like imagine tomorrow if that's what again google and other companies did they let go of people of business which were not making impact and then they whoever was remaining they were like okay these this is where you should focus so always focus on thing which are going to move needle then is automating product operation now once you know that okay these are the so things which you are going to focus on like your goal is this your icp is this now you can automate a lot of things if a customer or let's say, i'm going to take an example that if your goal is to increase revenue and your icp is enterprise customer now your automation could be if a uh, deal comes on hubspot or a gong call talks about a particular feature request which will help and the potential deal size is more than let's say 100000 then you just want to filter that forget all the noise forget what smb said what customer support said because your okr is to increase revenue from enterprise customer so just ignore other things and plan it out because if your product leader vp of product whoever reporting manager is they ask you oh what are you going to build you have a very simple answer i'm going to build this feature because these are the 10 customers who are enterprise or icp asked for this in the hubspot or uh, gong calls now they they don't have a imagine from a product leader perspective they are impressed that their work reduced they're going to be oh yes thank you go for it you don't your efficiency increases you don't have to get approvals you don't have to convince them you have a data other thing is measuring the outcome now once you ship out something let's say taking the previous example that if you ship this you get you get deal closure now if you have to do okr review all you have to do is these are the insights from these customers we shipped it out did we actually close the revenue or not did the deal closure happen or not if yes congrats if not why it did not happen and then you can improve like every other product management improving and iterating lastly 
customers I'm, i know I'm, i keep coming back to customers but that's like very important like it is the most important thing i mean i i can keep on talking about recently uh i was watching a lenny rechitki podcast by uh scott who's from adobe he talked about customers then i every book which i read like continuous discovery habit by teresa again talks about customer so that is there if you are able to talk to customers get insights you are able to address the concern you are going to have happier customer more deal closure and every company loves it like every company wants it if you are able to make your customers happy trust me your ceo your sales your engineers your designers your customer support your csm your marketers everyone is going to be happy and proud of you period and if you just make like i'll hire a person who says that oh yes you can talk to my customers that they love me i'll hire the person immediately like managers they love they are diplomatic customers love you cannot buy it another thing is feature factory i know we have heard this term feature factory company uh, a lot marty gagan talks about it a lot that most pm by just shipping out product in by shipping out feature but imagine if you are transforming your approach to why what you are building and why you are shifting from a feature mindset to an outcome mindset that the companies are paying millions and dollars to product coaches and training and everything that is very simple just spend time in product discovery so this is the closing thought uh, it's not about how much effort you put in but outcome you deliver i mean read it again it's not about how much you effort you put in but outcome you deliver no one i know product i mean i have been doing product management and it's a very thankless job like no one is going to say great work you wrote a pid engineers might say but if you apply for your another job no one is going to ask how well pid you write the first thing in the resume is that what outcome you delivered imagine if you go talk to your product community or you meet me at a meetup or you meet anyone in the meetup you don't talk about oh i i i write very good jira tickets i i make very good buy frames i write very good prds no people talk about the outcome every day you go every thing you do in the morning if you just think from an outcome perspective that is this going to deliver outcome you are going to have a different view and that's what about product discovery now outcome is again what comes out but you all know what comes out depends on what goes in so if you want a great uh, food ingredient the freshest ingredient matter similarly if you want a great product you need to spend time in discovery so that's the first principle thinking a lot of people start thinking about outcome outcome is the result discovery is what you have in control so focus there making a great discovery so yeah that that is about it uh, i hope i was able to convey the importance of a good product discovery how it impacts your customer relationship how it can make you your mindset more customer focused deliver business goals reduce your operational effort and help you become a better product manager these are my linkedin and twitter if you ever want to connect i'll be more than happy to thank you